Hi, and welcome back to another GCCPE in three, where we're gonna look at a mini topic in around three minutes. If you've been watching this series, great. If you've not and you're revising, go and check out some of the others and you can pick and choose which topics you want. So this one's gonna be on antagonistic muscle action. I'm gonna look at antagonistic pairs in another video. So a lot of people get nervous about antagonistic muscle action because they hear the word, they think it's a tricky word, they think the concept's gonna be tricky. It's quite a relatively easy concept because all it means is your muscles work with one other muscle to allow movement to occur, okay? So for example, when your bicep is contracting and getting shorter, it flexes your elbow and allows your forearm to move towards it. At the same time, your tricep muscle is lengthening, it's relaxing, gets longer, and it controls the movement of that bicep, okay, as it brings the lower arm towards it. And then in reverse, as the tricep contracts and starts moving the lower arm towards it in extension, the bicep gets longer, okay? So it's a really, really easy concept. Now in the next video, I'll talk about sporting examples of those. Good luck.